but he also shared the secret of his might, which was the cause of his fall. He told Delilah that his hair is the container of his strength. Hello everyone, this is Polomi Dash and you're watching English Literature with Polomi. In today's video, we are going to talk about one of the epics of English Literature that is written by none other than John Milton. And the epic is Samson Agonistus. If you like today's video, do give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications every time I post a video. Samson Agonistus, the greatest English drama written by John Milton, is based on a Greek model and it is also considered to be the greatest of the closer tragedies. Published in the year 1671, Samson Agonistus tells the story of Samson, a biblical figure taken from the Book of Churches. The plot of the play revolves around Samson, the hero, who has been captured by the enemy forces of Philistines had his hair, the container of his strength, cut off and his eyes plucked out. Samson is blind among enemies or worse than chains. In his captivity in the prison of Gaza, Samson namones his fate. Then suddenly he heard some footsteps. It was the chorus that appeared. Chorus is a group of people who function much like the commentator or a critic in a tragedy. The chorus saw Samson in racks, blinded with not a single strand of hair on his head. The chorus then start questioning the God's device behind Samson's such condition, to which Samson asks them not to blame the God. The chorus then sings the praises of Samson, of his valor and his bravery. How he is capable of destroying the whole enemy forces single-handedly and how he has defeated and killed a lion bare-handed and so. To which Samson replied that his consequences is because of his own actions and also because of his disobedience of God's order. God told Samson to always conceal the secret of his strength from everyone. Also, God commanded Samson to marry only an Israel woman. But Samson, consumed with excessive pride and desire, married Delilah, a beautiful Philistine woman. Not only did he marry Delilah, but he also shared the secret of his might, which was the cause of his fall. He told Delilah that his hair is the container of his strength, and if the hair is cut off, he is left with nothing. After learning of the secret of Samson, Delilah betrayed him. And after the betrayal of Delilah, Samson is captured by the enemy forces and taken prisoner in the prison of Gaza and treated very poorly, much like a slave. Just as Samson and the choruses were talking, another figure appeared. It was Manoah, the father of Samson. Manoah mourns the condition of his son. He says that Samson was a God's child, who was gifted to the childless couple Manoah and his wife. Also, Samson was gifted with inhuman strength to save and protect his people of Israel from the enemy forces of Philistines. But the irony of fate is that Samson himself is now captured by those enemies and treated so poorly like slaves. Manoah proposes to free Samson at any cost from his captivity, but Samson refused. He told his father that in his current condition, the only way left to him was to die. Heartbroken at the words of his son, Manoah departed. And just as Manoah departed, there came another figure, came Delilah. Delilah came to ask for forgiveness from Samson. 
but Samson refused to forgive her. Delilah's father proposed to free Samson from the prison, to which Samson again denied. Delilah then told Samson that she is consumed with excessive guilt after she betrayed Samson. But it was because of her love and responsibility towards her country and her people that she has done so. Samson refused to reason with Delilah, after which Delilah went away. After the departure of Delilah, Choruses commented on the frailty on women character. After the departure of Delilah, another figure appeared and it was the officer. The officer tells that Samson is to be taken inside the arena where he is to entertain the Philistines who are preparing for a celebration. And so Samson is taken inside the arena so that he can entertain the Philistines. What happened after Samson take it inside the arena is told through the speeches of other characters. The chorus informed Manoah, the father of Samson, that Samson has destroyed both the pillars of the arena that helped the arena hold up and so caused a huge rampage and into the rampage all the Philistines were died but in the process Samson also died. And so the closer drama which is inspired by the Greek tragedy Samson Agonistus ended. That's it for today. Thanks for turning in and watching the video. So how do you like the video? Do let me know in the comment section below. And if you have any questions, queries or suggestions for me, do let me know there as well. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends and family as much as you can. So I'll see you on the next video with such other important topics. Till then, stay healthy and stay safe. Thank you.